What is going on? It is Mortar Mike. It is go time. And this is yet another Watcher of Realms video. I jumped in the car. I did it before. Last time I didn't have as much juice in my phone. This time I do. So I'm ready to make some dope content for y'all today. Today is the day of summons. Right now I'm recording this. This is Friday. I'm probably going to put this out on Saturday. <laughs> I have two more days. Two more days of producing content. Um, once we're finished with that, I'll be back to my regular location. But today is a day of summons. Y'all know what's on the docket. Let me get my little max out real quick, just in case. We lost it. <laughs> but I got pretty good rewards participating there. This feels weird because I'm talking about it and you can't, like, I can see it right now. And so it's kind of weird to like piece this in my head of how to make this content that you guys can enjoy. But I'm getting my little rewards just to max up, make sure I'm ready, just to top up a little bit here and there. Got an extra summon, nice. Do I think I'm gonna get a hat set or Artemis today? Heck yes. <laughs> I got no other choice but to think that. Okay, got some fractions of both, nice. Nine and 17. Oh, a shard, I'm about to say, I thought I unlocked them already. I was like, That's, that was easy. No, I got a lot more to do for that. I mentioned this before, I mentioned it actually pretty constantly when I'm doing these videos because these events seem to line up pretty often. Corridor of Glory and Spiritual Altar, altar seem to line up pretty often in this game. I told you guys in an earlier video to max out your hero inventory. Right now, mine's at 520. I think you get 20 more in um, Pantheon. I think you get more later. I got about f close to 5 million experience. I've had tons of gold for a while now and I'm just gonna knock them out. And I don't think I'm gonna finish the event with this amount. Making space for summons, baby. Making space for summons. I'm gonna show y'all why. Forgive me, I'm putting a little bit of time into this because I wanted to make sure I had my stuff ready for today. Uh, the one thing I hate is when you do a summon video in the middle of summon and the things are looking nice, then you have to stop. <laughs> 10 and four. So I have more than enough. Um, I don't know if there's enough heroes, but yes, I know, something else to buy. I got it, I got it. Quarter of glory, look at that. 7.2 thousand done. The rest is gonna be a cake walk. I'm probably gonna level up some champion I get in this event, and that's gonna help me get over that top. So nice. I'm gonna save that crystal too, that um, skill crystal, because I might use it on somebody new. But let's get into the summon, shall we? All right, so right now, I have 39. 39 of these, I don't think I have any divines, no divines. Let's go ahead and change that. Let's upgrade that. No, I'm not about to buy a thing. This is all thanks to you guys for watching the content and enjoying it. I'm getting a consistent, oh, that's insufficient inventory. I'm getting a consistent amount of rewards from the game. I'm really thankful for that. Look at that, that's cool. So this was for just making content for that month. I think it's for the month of January and I got it in March. Yep, for the month of January, cool. Then along with that, this is for the content that we made for the Lust event. So we did two pull videos. I think I talked about it in a different, different video as well. So I will tell you guys, if you want to make content and get some good rewards in the game, feel free to do that. Also, also, I didn't mention this before. I no, I think I did. The channel is officially, officially monetized. So that means I can do options like memberships. So what I'm gonna do in things like that is, I'm gonna make videos um, for those that wanna become content creators. They just wanna know a really good way to go about it. I'm not saying I'm the best at all, but I like to give a feed, I like to give some input on things that I've done that have helped things work out. You probably watch me grow, which is really awesome. It's not, I'm not the highest account of such and such, so I don't think it's something I'm even trying to make a big profit off of at all. But I think I'll start making videos and putting them on the, as a membership. I'll mention it in a video when they're there. I don't want you guys buying it, nothing's available because that's unfair. Um, but I think I might make it like two bucks. Just pennies, just to see, you know, just to give guys a leg up to go ahead and make content. I actually speak with a lot of content creators now. Look, claim these. Oh, I claimed all. Oh well. <laughs> oh, they're in the team. I actually speak with a few different content creators now and give feedback on, you know, different things that they could do to improve stuff on the channel. Um, really awesome conversations. I'm not saying their name, you just gonna see dope stuff coming from them. So that's what it's gonna be. Oh, and one more thing we're gonna do today. Because, where is it? Boreas is out. Boreas is officially here. I'm gonna have fun with that today. I may have to make a separate video, but I'm gonna have fun with that. Let's get into these summons. That's the last one saying let's get into these summons. Let's actually get into them now, okay? <laughs> so I'm gonna do the singles first, then we're gonna 10 pull in the gold. I think I'm fairly close to, um, I think I'm fairly close to no pity. So I'm like very far away from actually getting it. So let's make it work. 
Now my audio might sound really iffy because it's recording my microphone and the phone. So it may come out a little awkward, but let's get these summons going. I'll turn it down a little bit. I'll crank it up in post. A rare rebate, I'll take it. Yeah, I'm burning, I'm burning gems today. I really am so thankful. These came in this morning, by the way. This morning, these um, creative um, bonuses came in. So how's that for timing, right? For a summon video. Really thankful for that. But you guys see the stuff that I've been posting. Uh, I really want this thing to turn um, gold soon. <laughs> Maybe not too soon, but um, I really want to see something nice come through the portal. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell, right, let me tell you, <laughs> we don't care. <laughs> All right, three more, and then we're going straight into 10 pulls until gold. I think I'm gonna try, if I can get the two gold, it'd be awesome. I don't know, it's worth a shot though, I don't know. I really don't know. But um, that's a hundred something, um, like 140 summons. Should be a decent chance I'll get something nice out of that, right? I would assume. Hold on, I just got more gems back by doing 10 summons. Which I could have used to go straight into 10 summons, right? I'm gonna grab those rewards right now and keep it moving. Oh, it's two more. Yeah, that would have went straight to 10. That's fine. Two more, then straight 10 pulls. Oh my gosh, I'm ready. And then also, I turn off the music in the game. So when I'm talking during the summon, y'all forgive me, somebody said in the comment, bro, you talked through the whole summon. It's because I can't hear the music of the mute, like of the video if I, if I get a video for the champion. So I can't tell, um, I can't tell what you guys can hear in post because I add the animation video in post, in the video later. All right. It is time. It is temple time. We're going at the Hatsit. We're going at the Artemis. Preferably, I want Artemis more than I want Hats. Hats is an amazing champion, but I love the I love the ingenuity in Artemis's kit. I love how unique it is. He's a sniper. He's a sniper that heals and does insane damage as his ult. On his ult. Are right, we getting some purples? Let's rock. Let's rock. Give me an assault day, please, y'all. That'll give me pyros and everything. Well, knee salt is a hit. Or an assault is a hit. Um, at Boreas. <laughs> We're gonna find out soon if they're amazing. Got another ult coming, not ult, uh, another epic coming. Why was I saying ult? Oh, I was thinking about ultimate attacks. Scorch, Nazim. Scorch is so disappointing. Scorch is a dragon that breathes fire and doesn't do a burning damage. Nowhere in his kit does he do burning. You breathe fire as your attack and you don't deal burning damage. How? <laughs> Explain yourself. <laughs> But he does he does interestingly well with the I think it's like Heart of Arteries or something. It's an artifact. Um, he does well with that because it's ten instances of magic damage, and his attacks are generally like three hits per hit, and he's hitting multiple targets. So he does pretty well with that artifact. Still not one of my top picks, but he does pretty well with the artifact, and he can pump out a decent amount of damage. It's just very linear. Cause it's just down a straight line. It's like three ranges of distance, which is nice. But it's, it's you know it's a little meh. It's not it's not very amazing what stuff you can do. It's not awesome. Epic time again. Okay, let's go. I still want that assault day. Heck, I'll take a torador if you got one of those sitting around somewhere. <laughs> Another scorch. Is he on the 10x? Yes, he is. So scorch is on the 10x. I'll take more Ologs. Ologs are pretty hard to summon. They're very rare summons. Another epic. I do like that we get some good stuff, so that's gonna help with our, is that summoning video? I think there's a summoning uh, event too. I forgot what they're called. Um, Azoth, he's on a 10X also. Okay, we're down to 7.7K. Let me get some gold up in here too though. Well, just a little bit. I just want at least just one, just one. Theowin, he's not on the 10X. Just A5 the one actually, believe it or not. I thought he was a very common pull. Got us a rare tax. Let's see how much of that is rebate. Give me like five rebates back. That's what I like. That's one, two, three, four, five. I'm good. Six. Nice. That's back in the pocket. That's more money back in the pocket. Nice. Oof. Another rare tax. Oof. You're getting to me today, game. I got all these gems. These gems better not be trash. <laughs> All these gems I got for summons, man. 
Who are you guys? Um, you guys have already done your summons because you probably done them by the time you see this video. What are some of the champions you guys have been pulling? I want to know what you guys have been pulling out here. Have you got hat set? Did you get Artemis? Did you get a Lord? Did you get a Cratch? You got a Cratch, don't tell me you got a Cratch. I don't want to get a Cratch today. <laughs> yeah, he's great in content. I don't want to Cratch today. <laughs> I do not. And I'll say this, the account has been on a pretty good hot streak on getting Legos recently. I've done two summon videos recently and both of them had Legos. One was an amazing Lego that I definitely say is S tier as a defender. And one I say is a good B plus tier, A tier, A minus tier for a melee fighter. Pretty good summons, I think they were good. Especially because the melee fighter is now A1. Um, well, the melee fighter is Kanezo, I'll tell you that. And she gets up to 3% healing per key stack per second. So she can heal for 9% HP per second while she has key stacks, which is lovely. It's freaking awesome. Oh, we're down to 2.4. Getting tight. I'm gonna have to burn these um, these uncommon soon. <laughs> get more, no rares soon and get more gems out of them. Another epic, Gonkba. All right, praise the Gonkba. He's in the building. Bora, Spring, Drogo, Azoth, Ogro. Good, all right. We're getting down to the wire, y'all, but we're still getting epics, which is nice. Epics are good for score, even though I have most of them A5 now. Dallin, Dallin, her. <laughs> I think I want to have her A5 now. All right. Did that end everything? Ooh, nine. Whew. Thank you, video game. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow the video. Slow the video. There's some nice rewards there, right? I'm happy. All right. Here comes the Great Purge. Let's get rid of them here. That's a lot. Another 20 something summons, maybe 30 something summons all together. Nice. All right. Let's see if we can get a hat to the Artemis to show up. Let's see. Another epic. We're back in the building with more ease. Let's rock. Give me something nice. I want that in Soldier. I'll take some Ologs too. Azoth. All right. Got another one. Another Azoth. And a Damon. I can get Damon close to A5 now. Nice. Oh, -ho -ho! it's go time. Let's see who we got. Let me turn this back down. I'm gonna get too loud. <laughs> Let me get that Hassett video real quick. Who is it? <laughs> Sorry, I have a. <laughs> All right. Mmm. I take it. I take it. That awakens him and it makes it even better. Oh, and there's a reason why I like this guy. I didn't talk about it yet. Okay, so I gotta make a whole video on why this guy's awesome. Cause I gotta show it better than I can say it. Let me collect these diamonds real quick. Um, yes, so I just pulled Ezrin. Ezrin is a good healer. Um, he's one of the slight healers in the game, which I think is really awesome. Um, it's really cool because he can hit any character on your team on the map with heals, but he, uh, he's insane. I'm gonna do another temple. He's insane because he has this ability no, they're not just the ability. With his um, with his artifact, it allows him to do it like a machine gun. I gotta record it so you guys can see it. But his artifact is called Weaver's Hood, and with Weaver's Hood, it removes the cooldown of him doing those snipe heals, which are long range strong heals. So um, it's still it's still an RNG involved. So it's like a 50-50 chance that it does it over and over. Um, but it's insane because you see him do like heal, heal heal, and then he go, heal, 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 heal. And he's sending them out to different champions and different heroes at the same time. When I tell you it's such a cool thing to see on um, on the Conqueror boss against the Wasteland Titan, not Conqueror boss, in the Codex boss against the Wasteland Titan, it's insane. It's pretty dope to watch um, because he starts just throwing out crazy amounts of heals. I've been hearing something about Nash being interesting for Conqueror. That's, that's interesting. Hmm. So I'm gonna burn the singles because I still want to get a hot set on Artemis. Ezra's good. I'm happy. Because him being a higher awake is gonna make him even better. But um, you know who we're here for. <laughs> we're not here for Ezra. We're not here, um, we're not here for Ezra. We're here for hat set or Artemis. Prefer to be Artemis, but I mean I wouldn't be mad if I got the video. You know, I wouldn't be upset. Alright. Well, Bernie's two here. This is crazy. So this is why it's good to be a content creator because I didn't have to dig into my pocket for this thing. 
because I would have cost a lot to get all the little summons. But I'm thankful for making all these videos because it makes it easier. So, I actually go back here. And I'm really like Frankenstein this content together um, because I'm getting bits. Ooh, there, I'll take that, I'll put that to work. Wait, are they, they have a banner for that too? If they do, they do. Let's send it, epic, it's all good. Give me an Olaf, <laughs> I'll take Olaf. It'll be good to use. Got Ezra, the number one epic in the game, besides like Dolores or something. She's one of the most reliable epics in the game. That's a good way to put it. Cool, so I'm gonna see if I have enough gems for one more tin pool. Oh, spiritual altar gave me some more. Golly, 700. Okay, well good. That might give me another 20 pulls altogether. Oh yeah, because I hit the 7,000 mark. Very nice. Oh, nice, that'll take care of it. All right, so that should give me another 20. Let's get ready to see. Let's give it a shot. Cool, let's go. Got us an epic in the ranks. I still haven't gotten the Olog. Still want to also do more, but <laughs> I like the A5 him without having to use the um without having to use Soul Stones on. Last 10 pull. Then I may burn some of the rares and use those too. Cause I got tons of energy to keep making content in the game, keep playing. Oh, last 10 is an epic. So I may burn the rares just for another summer or two in there just to see if we can get it. Y'all don't do this if you don't, you know, don't do this unless you have the resources for it. Thankfully the game sent resources for me to do this. So that's why I'm doing it. The last and final crunch, the last departure. And yes, I did get a kook or kook, whatever you want to call them. I did get one because I wanted to make sure I was ready for this upcoming event. More gold, nice. What's that give us? Oh, another, another maybe, maybe two, maybe three. If it's a rare involved, maybe three. All right, let's rock. Give me that tax, can it be a rebate? It is a rebate, nice. So that means I can get two more out of, well, I can already get two more. All right, that's another rare. Ooh, things are looking tough. Duradell, AKA the biggest simp in the game. Yes, he's the biggest simp. You should look, you should look up Volker's video if you have a question with that. Um, <laughs> Zealous is nowhere near it. Trust me, Zealous is nowhere near it. The way my boy's dressed is real suspect. Um, is that all of them? I believe that is all of the summons. So, I did pull gold. I did not pull who I wanted, but I did pull somebody nice. This is what I was talking about earlier. So I got a ton of these here, which is nice. I just got a bunch of these this morning. But, I'm gonna awaken them. At Awaken 3, change the HP threshold required for triggering Enlightened Breath to 50%. Enlightened Breath is his ability like his emergency heal. It is right here. When an ally's HP drops below 30%, so now I think it just went to 50%, immediately grants a 220% attack base heal on them. I can get that to 260, which is awesome. This effect can be triggered one time every 35 seconds. Here's where it gets nice though. When it gets nice is the Weaver's Hood. Weaver's Hood increases the hero's healing effect by 10. Isn't that amazing? And I think the healing effect, the only thing that goes up, but this part is, after Enlightened Breath is triggered, which is the snipe heal, you just saw it here. So this is the emergency heal with the 35 second cooldown, it does 220% heal. That will heal 220% on anybody close by, which is awesome. And he also um, gives them his talent, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I'm sorry, that's the ultimate. I'm getting confused here. Let's start it back, let's do it right. All right, Enlightened Breath is where he does his super heal to save somebody who's close to dying. It gets a 35 second cooldown after he uses it. This combined with Redemption and Agony, whether it's his ultimate or whether it's just an emergency heal from the other Enlightened Breath attack, it allows him to heal well beyond his range, but it takes a 40% healing reduction penalty. So if I'm doing 260% um, heal, you have to take 40% of that total heal back um, if they're being healed outside of his range. The interesting thing about what the Weaver HUD does is there's a 50% chance to reset the cooldown of the emergency heal. The snipe heals can heal whenever, whenever they can reach outside of range. There's no cooldown on these. The heals can cast rejuvena Verdant Rejuvenation and Lightning Breath on allies beyond its attack range, albeit with healing effects reduced for 50%. So his ultimate, which is Verdant Rejuvenation, <clears throat> that's a huge heal. And then he adds a talent to him with a cooldown of only 550, which is nice, so it comes very often. And then this ability has a 35 second cooldown, 
but with the ultimate it gets rid of the cooldown at a 50 percent chance there's still rng involved you may get no extra heal out of it you may get a double heal out of it. you may get a triple heal you may get a quintuple heal but a 50 percent chance is nice because i've seen times where my team has been doing pretty bad in um in the wasteland titan battle and i've seen him chain heal and bring stuff up to full health i've seen him by himself heal the majority of the team within like two seconds while they're doing their other heals and trying, I see his heals going and they're in the six figures per heals. They're nice. So I like that. I do like the fact that this um, makes the threshold 50%, so he's much more likely to do it quickly. Ah, uh, wait a second, wait a second. Should I burn a little bit of experience on him since he's already a level five? I think I should. Mm, I'm gonna just give him like, why not give him the 50 and then crunch him. All right, where's the other Ezrin? Cause I do not want to make the accident. Good, no mistakes? Okay, that's not the awakened one getting crunched, good. <laughs> I've seen it happen, I'm not gonna be that guy. I'm not that guy. <laughs> okay, so mine weren't as amazing as I thought they'd be, but I did get a Lego, and I did get a useful Lego. This Ezrin is uh, my go-to healer in Void Rift, especially against the Torador boss because you only have two platforms and you can't afford to put, make both the platforms heal platforms and keep healers alive, keep players alive. So you need a way to keep them alive because Toro's gonna be doing chip damage. Um, the other champions at the top of the map are gonna be taking hits from time to time. You need a way to keep heals in. He'll throw a heal across the map, especially with like a broke here or like an OAG or something. He'll throw a heal across the map and then he'll get them back to full health. And if he has this, he can chain heal and heal more than one champion or just rapidly heal the same champion. It's really cool because you see like a stream of them just going over. It's really awesome. That's been your boy Mortar Mike. I had to jump down here to make a video for you guys. I had to do it. I could not wait. Upstairs right now, we actually stopped at a hotel. We finally made it back to here before we can get back to our place. We stopped back here. Um, and the kiddo is upstairs and I would not have been able to finish the video with him running everywhere. <laughs> I know it. I love him and it will happen and he will pop into the video 30 times. I hope you guys have an amazing time. I hope you guys have some amazing pulls. If I get some more, oh yeah, you know what's going on tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be ancients and I got a decent amount of ancients. Let's just say I'm looking pretty good at 33 right now. Something nice might come through there. Let's hope it's not a crash. You can't get crashed through ancients, can you? Let me know in the comments. I don't think you can. Please, God, tell me you can't get um, crashed in the ancients. That's the only champ I don't want. He's good. I just don't want him. He's great. I just don't want him. <laughs> this has been your boy, Mortal Mike. Y'all have an amazing time. It is go time, but now it is time to go. You guys take care. Oh, and I know the hate gonna come in the comments. Oof, tough pull. You got Ezra. Nah, bro. I'm not done summoning yet. This game has a good tendency of giving me even more options to pull. I just hope I can pull a Hatsa or Artemis this weekend. This has been your boy, Mortar Mike. Y'all have an amazing time. I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Appreciate you all and all your support. Let me know in the comment section who you guys pulled um, and who you guys got that you didn't like. Sorry. Have a great time. Take care.